so thank you for tuning to my channel again today i'm inspired Grizel, and on here we inspire you to look within you to be the best version of you that you were called to be that god created you to be okay on your get content and love relationship worship just really really pure good and amazing amazing stuff all right if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you want to be inspired daily uh you should go ahead and subscribe and for all our returning subscribers thank you and god bless you uh today i want to share with us uh something i titled confused right or entitlement and and the whole purpose of this is to encourage someone or to remind someone who is uh, almost being drowned by the spirit of entitlement now what do I mean by this it's my understanding uh, from what I've come to understand in my little years on the earth is that everything we have who we are today is because of the mercies of God It's because of the good hand of God upon our life so we should stop feeling entitled we should stop feeling entitled is the mercies of God that has given us what we have that has given us the purpose we are running with that has given us the skills that we have it's not because of anything we did we didn't really merit it but he gave us so it's not about merit you you, you find people treat people bad or people begin to they get they get haughty they they are arrogant because they feel like they are entitled to the information they have or to the person they have see even your beauty doesn't entitle you to anything it doesn't entitle you to marriage it doesn't entitle you to be a good husband or a good wife it is the mercies of god whatever we have is god it's not an entitlement it's a privilege which we have. We should not be confused with some kind of right. Now, if you are a spouse and your husband, he loves you. It's not because you're doing anything or for you to want to speed out of other people's faces. You know how I have the most amazing. No, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying celebrate people in your life. But in as much as you do that, it's not about rubbing things in people's faces. Understand that what you have. Because there are people that they do everything, they bend over back and still their spouses can love and appreciate them. And there are others that without doing it, they still love and appreciate them. Because this thing is not about merit or entitlement. It's not about right. It's about God just walking and doing what he's doing. You know how to, to cook or you know how to, to make hair and all of that. It's not an entitlement. It's, it's, it's a privilege. It's, it's, it's a privilege God has given you to be able to inspire other people, to be able to empower other people, to be able to share knowledge and, and, and help people, help destinies. It's not an entitlement. I don't know how to really break this down for us to get it. But see, there is nothing we have that we did not receive. And because you received it, you have to be cautious because whoever gave you can take it back. So whatever you have, handle it with a, with a mind of purpose. Handle it with a mind of purpose. Handle it with a mind of purpose. Because God created us. He brought us into the world. He put us in the families where we are. It's for purpose. Because you have children, it's not a right. Some other people do not have. See, everything is for a purpose. It's not an entitlement. It's not because you're more fertile than another person. No, it's it's the mercies and the privilege of God. So we have to handle it not with the mindset of I'm entitled to, you know, I deserve it because I'm fine and all of that. Oh, my body is this and that. Whatever metabolism you have or don't have, you received it. So let's not let's not begin to to do things and handle things and handle people as if we are lord over them. Only God is lord over things and over people. I really hope that this message goes out the way I'm thinking it's going out. But whatever you have, whatever you you have right now, a skill, asset, property, knowledge, whatever you have, you received it. So do not stop acting as if you're entitled. Stop being haughty and arrogant and feeling as if you're on top of the moon and you're better than every other person. No, you are not. It's a privilege that you need to value. It's a privilege that you need to value. If you're dealing with this entitlement mentality, you need to change it. Don't confuse them for rights. It's a privilege. Don't confuse it. Don't confuse it. All right, I just want to really encourage you begin to do the things that you do with the mind of purpose, not the mind of entitlement. No, I went to school, I have an MBA, I have this, I have that. No, 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 it's not all of that. 
The Bible says it's because of the mercies of God that we are not consumed because there are people that have these things that you have and maybe even better, but they are not where you are. So it's, 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 it's just the goodness of God. So celebrate his goodness and kill every haughtiness and arrogance. All right? So I just really had to share this. I, I hope the message has gone out the way it's supposed to go, right? Thank you for, if you like this content, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.